Hey everybody, I'm just going to share this real quick and get some people in here. twin you guys can share the video if you want that'd be cool beans hey Let's see who else is gonna come in all right I know it's late so probably a lot of people aren't gonna come in but that's what replays for so we're gonna unbox uh, the order from my launch party. See, Carrie, it's asking me if I want to tag you in my video because it thinks I'm you every time. Do you want to tag Carrie Price in this video? So, this came in a day earlier. Early, I've been tracking the shipping and it said it was coming Wednesday, so I was pretty excited when it came in today. Now, it's mostly just going to be wax because most of my orders were actually online. I wanteth my warmer. Don't worry, we're going to look at it. I'm excited to see what it looks at. Like, I want to see how big it actually is. Can you hear me all right? First of all, Carrie, you have to be the, like, bearer of bad news if you can't hear me. I'll try not to turn away from the camera and talk too much. Hi, Ashley. All right, we're just unboxing some of the stuff that people ordered from my launch party. Mostly wax, but my twin sister got a pretty cool warmer, so. Lots of trash. They're really good at packaging. <laughs> All right. Carrie, I feel like I should make you wait. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, look, it's the first thing in the box. Your telly warmer. I'm excited to see what this guy looks like. The more and more I see them and look at them, the more and more I'm, like, in love with the element warmers. They're just too cute. Like, I like the glow for, like, my living room and stuff. No, you don't want me to make you wait. Yeah. <laughs> The comments are going to be a lag a little bit. They usually are with the live videos. And I'm going to try to keep everything. I don't want to like lose any of your stuff. It's all going right back in your box when I'm done. Alright. So first, is, here's a little lid. So I'm guessing the little antennae come separate. Yep, they do. Right here. Team Christmas cards and multitasking. I always say I'm multitasking and then usually I just get distracted by... Facebook or YouTube, and then I just, you know, go down the rabbit hole, so. Oh, that's cute. Here, Carrie, I'll put it together so you can see, but I'll take it back apart so that it'll get back in the box. So cute. I can't believe she got me that for Christmas. Is that what you wanted, Mom? A telly warmer? You got that Stargaze warmer. Come on. That thing is amazing. Carrie, you didn't tell me. You didn't go look at the dish and tell me how many cubes go in Mom's warmer because since Ashley told me that, I'm, like, so curious. Oh, my goodness. All right, twin, here it is. So cute. Oh, my goodness. Look. It's a pretty deep dish. So cute. And you got your little toggle switch. And there's your little red light that's going to let you know when it's on. I told you that. Hers is like a see-through dish and you can see it right on there. I saw the Scentsy logo when I was there for Thanksgiving. Carrie, that's too cute. <laughs> There you go. Ashley's looking it up. Carrie, you're a slacker. 
All right, I'm gonna put everything in the box and make sure I get it all packed together with all your paperwork and stuff. All right, let's put that all in one spot. They extend the carry, are you kidding? Oh my gosh, shut up. How did I not know that? That's so cool. Uh, okay, now I have to see it all together with the extended intent. Come on. Carrie, you're gonna get all the channels now. Three to four. Yeah, mom, with the size of your room, I'd probably go four cubes at a time if you're going to keep it where it's at. Or you can just get another warmer. No, I'm just kidding. You got your plugins there. And now that we've got the right bulb in there, you're good to go. So cute. And my other order was a Tilia warmer. I think I'm saying that right. I have one of these. Carrie, I know you have one of these, but we're going to open it anyways and take a look because it's so cute. Adorable. I used three. There you go, Mom. Now, I wonder if these new ones have the number of cubes on here. No, it doesn't. Now I'm going to be checking every warmer I get my hands on. I'm going to be looking for that. There's a dish. Alright, I love you twin. Get some sleep. Yes, you need to show me your bird's nest warmer. I want to see it. Where do you have it? In your bathroom? Oh, new ones in this catalog. Gotcha. Cool. Well, that will make it easy. You know, I had a friend earlier asking for the dimensions of a warmer, and I was, like, looking around everywhere, and I, like, couldn't find it, but I found, like, a video to show her. And there's the Telia warmer. I like the texture of this warmer. It's almost, uh, I want to say, I'm trying to think of the right word. I mean, it feels stone. Um, I believe it's ceramic, though. Don't say. This is, runs off a 20-watt bulb. I actually have one on right over there. I'd lift up my phone to show you, but. Downstairs in my bird room, duh, of course. No, it wasn't. I just, like, randomly, like, YouTube searched, like, Sensi Hip Warmer, and it was, um, it was actually a, a male consultant. <laughs> Ceramic, okay. But he was, like, real into it, so. <laughs> I just wanted to show her the size. I told her it stood about, you know, like, six inches tall. I mean, it's kind of a tiny warmer, but it's super cute. And then I saw the video and the fact that it had, like, interchangeable dishes. And I'm like, man, I wish I knew when this came out. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Sarah, I had to leave your live to come to my live. <laughs> Girl, we're busy. <laughs> I won. <laughs> I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Oh, hi, Craig. Well, if I have time, I'll hop back in there. I'm sorry. Gotta get this done. Alright, so that was that warmer. And now the rest of it is just bars, I believe. So we're going to get to smell some things. Oh, you don't want to forget. And I had a lot of 
fun with that customer because I got to do like scent suggestions and stuff. So that's always good. Now this whole box right here, I'm assuming it's just all my bars, 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 bars. And I'm going to pull up the descriptions to make sure I get the sense right because sometimes my whiffer tells me one thing and it's definitely not it. <laughs> Like, the sea salt and avocado, if I was to smell that, it would take me 10 million years to just guess that that was avocado in there. Oh my goodness, look at all these bars, it makes me so happy. So many bars. Let's see. All right. I can tell you this just by smelling them now. Yeah, I think it's just going to take practice. I got to train my nose. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, this is, oh, it won't focus. There we go. Silver bells. And you know, I didn't notice this till recently. I guess I'm just not a sucker for details, but the packaging on each of our bars is actually has a different sticker on it. So it's got different, different designs behind it. Look, that's my one chip nail I'm showing you. Do you like that? <laughs> So how cute is that? All right, let me look it up. And then we'll have a good sniff. Silver bells. Now I'm personally not a huge like spice person when it comes to scents or anything like that. Or cinnamon, like, cause, you know, the spice cinnamon, I can't. So there's like certain Christmas smells that just don't do it for me. This one is minty candy canes, pear, Caramel and vanilla sugar. I love this one. And it's the prettiest wax, too. The silver bells, so the color is pretty fitting. I definitely smell the mint in there. These are cold. I can probably just... Nah, it's not going to pop out for me. The pear is really interesting. But definitely what I smell most is the, the candy canes in it. That's nice. And it's, I think it's just the mint because it's such a, like, a fresh fragrance. I think it just, it's kind of clean, so it's kind of a nice break. Like if you want a break from like your strong spice, spicy scents, that might be a nice way to break it up. Maybe, you know, have like your like cinnamon and spice and stuff in the living room and maybe like the silver bells in the bathroom. That'd be nice. All right. And this is one of my favorites. And I know that mom got this for her warmer. This is pumpkin roll. Pumpkin roll. Now, I want to say this one's pumpkin and buttercream or pumpkin and vanilla let's see pumpkin roll and I'm not gonna try to pop them out anymore because I cracked that other bar <laughs> I heard it's feelings yellow cake okay creamy pumpkin pie filling surrounded with yellow cake pecans butter and spice see I like this one because you can definitely smell the pumpkin in there and you can smell the spice but it's not like overbearing like I know so many people love cinnamon, but like cinnamon bear, when I open that up and smell that, it's almost like I get an instant migraine, but that one's nice. And the color is always fun, of course. Mm. Pumpkin roll. Pumpkin roll. I got a full bundle. Pumpkin roll. All right, snow place like home. This one I don't know off the top of my head. I know I smelt it when I opened up my starter kit because I went through and smelt every single scent in there, which there was a hundred. Two of them were doubles though, and I'm wondering if I'm missing certain scents. I had like doubles of two of the seasonals. I wonder if that was on purpose though. Let's see, cool mint and fresh air. Hmm. This is something I would want my laundry to smell like. <laughs> I 
it's definitely a fresh, fresh, fresh scent. So the fresh air in there reminds me of like almost like a linen scent. And then again, just like Silver Bells, that cool mint behind it. Hi, Alex. We're smelling wax. <laughs> Let's see what else we have in here. All right. And the ever popular hug in a mug. Oh, it won't focus. I feel all fancy when I put my hand up to get it to focus. Oh, it worked. It's like magic. All right. Let me pull that one up. Let's see. Hug in a mug. I always recommend this to people who love bakery or holiday scents. It's just perfect. Let's see. Chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. Hmm. And I don't think that Carrie actually got this scent, but she's a huge cookie dough fan, so I guarantee this would be something she'd like. Definitely smell the hazelnut in there. Get out the scents we've already smelled. Hi. Hey, Kim. All right. Now, Carrie got some Amazon rain. Now, that is a smell I absolutely adore. I have the lotions, and now I have the washer whisks and the laundry liquid. I love it. I wash my blanket in it. Smells so good. Let's see. We have set off on a rainforest romp swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and sultry night blooming jasmine. I think it's the jasmine in there that always gets me. Like, scents with jasmine is just something in there is just so satisfying. I'm like coconut milk. It's just such, like, a fresh, like, earthy, like, natural scent. I mean, I would warm this, like, all year round, but I can definitely see this being, like, a, like, a fun summer scent. More smell place like home. Now, Carrie came over and did the unboxing with me when I got my Huga collection, and she picked out two of the Huga scents. We have Toasty Cabin. Now, I'm trying to remember correctly. I believe this is the more masculine scent. Let's see. And I think this is the one that has the black pepper in it. Bum, bum, bum. Bergamot Zest. Black pepper, wild fern, I always say this wrong, acacia wood. Yeah. This is like definitely like my boyfriend just got out of the shower smell. But I definitely, the like the woodsy smell is definitely there, so it's still like an earthy smell. And then there's just that zest that's like bringing it back up with a freshness. I like that one a lot. And then she also got Calming Woods. And I love the packaging on these. Like, the stickers are just so cute. The whole Hulu collection is just adorable. And I think you can still get all five, all five bars with the stocking for $24. And then you can also get, like, the, you can get, like, the bundle. You don't get the stocking, but, like, if there's one that you think you'll really like, you can get like five of one that you think would be like your favorite out of all of them. And I mean, what a cute gift if you get the bundle with all five and it comes with a stocking. Yeah, it's still available. All right, so Calming Woods, Vanilla Bean, Creamy Sandalwood, and Rich Cedarwood. This is more my style. See, the Vanilla Bean is like nice and sweet, you know, vanilla. And then that sandalwood just adds that earthiness to it. I like it because it's definitely like a seasonal scent. 
but it's not necessarily like exclusively Christmas. Like when I smell cinnamon, I think Christmas time, but this is definitely something you could burn year round. It makes me think of like, like camping, but not like a fire. Like you're sitting in the woods camping, like taking a hike or something. Calming woods. That's the next one. More hugging a mug. Oh, and I just have to say, Pink Haze is still one of my favorite scents. Even after I went through and smelled all 100 of my testers, Pink Haze is amazing. I literally put it in my warmer in my bathroom and I can smell it all the way out into my living room. It's so good. Let me look it up. Let me look it up real quick. I want to see exactly what's in that bar. Let's see. Berries, nectarines, vanilla laced whipped cream <laughs> nestled in marshmallow fondant. Such a sugar, sugar, sugar. No wonder I like it so much. All right, so back to another holiday scent. This is very snowy spruce. I'm gonna put these behind me because I'm running out of room here because all this wax I have. Let me just look up the scents. Now, spruce and pine are definitely some of my favorite holiday scents. Let's see, let's see, here we go. It says balsam, spruce, and cedar branches. Amber and woody pine cones. So you got the whole tree in this bar <laughs> and then some. Oh, it's just so good. It's just so fresh. Like it's that Christmas smell, like the Christmas tree smell. No cinnamon. <laughs> Personal preference, no cinnamon. Yeah, if you want your house to smell like a Christmas tree, you got a fake tree and you want it to smell like a Christmas tree, very snowy spruce is for you. You can smell the pine cones. Like, it's odd. You wouldn't think, mm, I want to smell pine cones. But you can smell them. They're definitely there. Definitely there. Right. Now, this is one very merry cranberry. Now, that's been extremely... Let me see if I can get it to focus for you. Is it focused? No. There we go. Very merry cranberry. This one has been a very popular scent. I know we had it in a bath bomb, I believe, and it actually sold out already. But let's see what else we have it in. I know that we actually have a buddy clip, which is like a scented like um, keychain almost, like you can clip on your bags. And I know that we have a little elf, Elliot the elf, that is scented very merry cranberry. Let's see. So you can get it in the bar, scent pack, scent circle, or room spray. And I don't remember having this in my tester kit, so let's see. Lush red winter berries, snow covered cedar. Yeah, winter berries and cedar, so. Okay. So you smell a little bit of the woodsy scent, but it's mostly like sweet berries I'm smelling. Mm. No, the cedar's there. Yeah, it's those berries. They really come through. They really, that, that, that sweet. It's not like when I think cranberry, I kind of think bitter. I've never been like a huge cranberry fan, but. Yeah, definitely smell the sweet cranberries in there. Hi, Jennifer. So that scent's been very, very popular. All right, I think I got just a couple more in here. Uh-oh. Let's see. This is one of my favorites. Cider Mill. I went through a whole bar of this already this season because I just love it so much. Let's see. Fresh apples. Crushed pumpkin. Spices. Yeah, it's just so, it's so perfect. Look at the packaging there. Is that fun? Here, I can never get it to focus. Here we go. It said no, thank you. It's that fun orange color. 
and it really just smells like a nice warm apple cider. It makes me think of like apple cider and then around the holidays like if your mom ever put like cinnamon and, and um what's the name of that berry um or not berry the cinnamon and like star anise and cloves and stuff like on the stove just as like a potpourri you love cranberry if you love cranberry you would definitely love very merry cranberry that smells so good so good all right i think the last one we have here is one that my sister ordered love and happiness now that's just you know the cutest fun pink color ever so let's check out love and happiness all right glazed chestnut vanilla and sugar cane It smells like, it's funny because it almost has like the tiniest hint of like almost like a baby powder smell. Like it just smells really fresh. And I guess that, that could be the chestnut in there. The vanilla is not super overpowering. I definitely smell the sugar cane. It kind of reminds me of the pink haze scent I was talking about. Yeah, but that's that's really nice. That was definitely that's definitely a nice fresh smell. Again, I I always like fresh scents in my bathroom, like like the lavender, or like the French lavender, or the pink haze, or um, we have a discounted bar right now in our clearance section called My Wish that I really like to put into my bathroom. And this love and happiness and something like an Amazon rain is definitely something I would put into my bathroom or like a laundry room. Let's see. I think that's it. I think that's all our bars for tonight. So we went through a lot of smells. That was fun. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll probably be doing another unboxing soon, probably with the next order that comes in. So I'll make sure to let you guys know when that's happening. Thank you, Kim, for sticking around. I know it's late. All right. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.